cult movie for access chapter two uh, chapter one pause and practice two so if we look at the instructions there are there is no file that we need for the beginning of access um, pause and practice chapter one dash two we do note that we're going to save it not as one dash two but if we look at how many access pause and practices we see that there's four so when I make my database I'm just going to name it the one dash four so I don't have to continually rename it especially in access so it has me create a blank database so I have access on my down here on my bar but you can also get to it through the start menu or in the search you can type access and I'm going to open up access so at this point with the access I, um, menu up where it shows you your recents I want you to do new blank database and then on this screen this is where you want to be really careful right now it's just this generic database name but we're going to change it to what we want the pause and practice to be so I'm going to be my initials PPA for access chapter one and there were four pause and practices so I'm going to put a four then the next thing I want you to look at is right down below that it's where that file is going to be saved so mine's going up to my OneDrive and I don't really want it to go up there so I'm going to go and I don't know I'm going to put it on my desktop for now but you just change this using the file folder where you want that file to be saved once you have your name and location correct go ahead and create the database so the first thing we need to do is modify the default primary key so the database is opened in what's called data sheet view so I would actually see the records and to be honest I don't usually work with my design of my table in this view but the the book has you doing it this way to kind of learn how to do it and then we move on and look at it in design view so the first thing that we need to do is to change the default primary key and I can tell it's an auto number because my ID here it just says new there's no play I can't click into it like I can't put anything in there so I know it's an auto number and I'm gonna have to change that I don't want it to just be called ID so I, up here where it says ID, I want to double click and you see it brings me into that field where I can um, edit it. So I'm going to type EMP ID all together. We want to always put this together and we're going to use camel case, which means that um, we put the letters, we put the words together and the, cap, the first letter of each word is capitalized, making it look like the uh, hump of a camel. So then we're going to press the down arrow key. It's going to take us down to the new. So now my field is called MPID. And then I'm going to use this area up here to change it. So right now it says auto number. Let's see. Well, it has name and caption. So we'll do name and caption. MPID. The caption is going to be employee ID. And then the description is going to be unique employee identification number now let me talk about what these are the the name where it says emp id that is the true name of this piece of information emp id the caption employee space id is how it's displayed out to the world but this is not the name this is just like a label attached to it when you want to reference this information in this field you have to do it by the name all right, we're going to go ahead and do OK. And then we're going to change it from an auto number to a short text. So notice now I can, I'm actually in it. I could do something in it. The next thing I want you to look at is right here. Short text is the only field data type that you have to give a size. The default size is 200. 
255 characters. That's really big. If you kept everything at 255, your file is going to get huge for no reason. Because, you don't, you know, in this case, we only need five characters. The, the ID is five spaces, five letters or numbers. So I'm going to type a five in there. It's going to make that field much smaller, helping my overall database stay um, uh, in a manageable uh, form or size. I'm going to go ahead, after I hit 5, I'm going to hit Enter. It's going to take me back down into this, right? So now, right here where it says click to add, I'm going to click there, and it's going to be a short text. The field name, I'm right here, is called first name all together. We're going to hit Enter. It's going to take me to the next field. And I'm going to enter all of these. So data type first and then the name. So short text, last name, enter. Short text, branch, enter. Short text, title, enter. Short text, department, enter and then here we do something different we're going to do start date which is a date and time so i'm going to come down here and pick date time start date enter and then the next one is base monthly salary and that's a currency so i'm going to do that base monthly salary all together guys no spaces we're all done so now we're going to save this table because right now it's called table one that's not what we want we're going to click on the save it's going to try and save this object which we're going to call employees that's our new table name employees we're going to go ahead and close out of employees and we can see in our um, object pane we have one uh, object it's a object of the data type I'm sorry of the type tables and it's called employees I'm gonna go ahead and double click it I'm gonna close that up now and look we're brought back and we're in data sheet view which means I could start putting in some data but really I need to finish up my design so I'm gonna do step number five and then we'll end this movie and pick up with step six in the next movie all right, so we're going to open up that we did. Okay, double click the employee table we did. First name. So we're going to click on first name, not down here, but up where it says first name. Up on the menu, we want to make sure we're in the fields tab and we're going to make some changes. We're going to change the size to 25, name and caption. So the caption is going to be first space name and employees first name okay so look immediately displaying here instead of first name all together you see that now watch this one when we do last name so I'm going to click on last name the size for last name is 25 I'm just going to do that it's a little out of order the name and caption the caption is going to be last space name and the description is employee's last name. Now, I'm going to do that because the book is saying it, but honestly, we're in the employee table and the name of the field is last name. This description doesn't really add anything. It's just extra work. I only use the description when what the field is called or the caption of the field is not very explanatory, right? So if you wouldn't know that it's that by its name then use the description but we're going to go through and do this because it wants us to now watch last name when i hit ok look it put that space in there so now branch we can't really do anything different to branch except put in a description and change the size so we're going to do 30 and then under name and caption we don't really need a caption because how else are you going to so name and caption and we're going to call it branch assigned to and it's 30. Title. Um, title is going to be 40. Name and title 
40 title is <clears throat> current current job title department department is going to be 40 and name and caption is um, department assigned to and then when we get to start date I want you to note there is no um, field size because the only data type that you ever have to put a size in is short text so anything else there's no there's no need to do any changes so if we go to start text we're going to do name and caption so it's going to be start space date and then date employment started and then same thing with base because it's a currency there's no size Let's do name and caption. It's going to be current base month. No, base monthly. And it's current base monthly salary. Now, because I am working on the design, I need to do a save. Okay, I'm going to end the movie here and we'll pick up with step six.